Hey guys, it's Rene. So for this Barbie DIY, I printed this Barbie letters or sign. I actually made it for you so you can print it if you want to go for this. It's going to be black and white on my blog. But first, I'm going to be cutting like the shadow, like the pink shadow part of this. And to cut this, like everything that I'm cutting, it's easier to use delicate scissors, like beauty scissors that are meant to trim eyebrows because they are usually pointier and more delicate and they're easier to just cut details like this. I'm going to be using some foamy paper white one feel free to work with pink one if you prefer but i'm going to be tracing the shape of the whole thing with my pencil then i'm going to cut it using the same scissors now i'm going to be cutting all the letters of my barbie sign and this time because they are kind of like more delicate and like curvy just taking my time and this is how i'm going to be cutting the bits in the middle it's actually really easy you just have to make a hole in the middle and then just cut from there but again it's going to be much easier using these kinds of scissors more delicate ones now i'm going to be using some more foamy paper tracing my barbie letters on top and i'm going to be adding some double-sided tape so my letters don't move as i'm working with them and just pretty much tracing with my pencil and just taking my time i mean it's not paper paper but it's actually really easy to draw um, me paper then i can cut it as i did before with the paper and without wanting to sound like a broken record it's going to be much easier to work with this kinds of scissors now so now i'm going to be painting the whole thing for my letters i'm going to be using this white acrylic paint giving this two to three coats for the background part of like the barbie sign the pink shadow as i call it probably it's not even a shadow though it probably is just like a 2d or 3d effect but this is going to be pink now Barbie's pink is quite tricky because it's not just like a bright pink, at least from what I saw, it's more of a magenta pink. Now magenta pink is like pinkish, purplish, reddish, so I was kind of like following that pink, like that reference. But again, you get a bunch of like different Barbies and different pinks, so I think it's more like the shade of pink that you like the most. But for what I wanted to go for, I just mixed carousel pink with my wet acrylic paint, applied it. I actually ended up not liking this as much it was more like corally pink and i wanted to add purple to make it more magenta kind of and more white and that's the one i liked paint is going to be much lighter when it's wet you have to apply it and wait for it to dry to see if you like the shade that you're working with or if you find a magenta or a pink that looks like the barbie pink foamy paper i think it's going to be better because i'm using foamy paper it tends to be kind of flimsy so i want it to be more steady i should have done this before i painted this whole thing by the way tracing a shape of cardboard i just needed smaller for the background really and this part is pretty much personal preference you don't need to do this i just wanted it to be less flexible i guess glue this with super glue this super glue by the way came in a pack of 12 i have a review for that one if you want to check it out now it's time for the placement and then just gluing them with my super glue on the back of each letter and just make extra sure that your e is like with a bit of an angle because that's how it goes i actually had to make this twice because the first time i didn't remember to just glue my e with the angle and this is what it looks like doesn't look good at all looks odd and i had to do the whole thing all over again love that for me but just to avoid that when you're placing them before you glue them make sure that you place it with an angle but yeah guys this is pretty much the idea that i want to share with you i cannot wait for the movie the thriller it looks like so much fun like fluffy colorful happy something that the world needs right now really something like some happiness something nostalgic that can bring us back to a simpler life that's what it did to me at least it put me in a better mood made me nostalgic and think about when life was simpler and easier yeah it reminded me of my childhood and i used to play with my cousin and the mansions that we used to build i'm gonna tell you more about it on my next DIYs because I have a lot of like ideas for Barbie so stay tuned for that but as for this one I really hope you find this helpful and handy if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you later and take care bye